Of course, we need alarm. I spent on this one around twelve dollars. All links in the description. As you can see, it looks a little bit different than on the box. On the box, we've got the same remotes, but different alarm and on the other side we've got same alarm but different remotes no one cares because the most important thing is that we need only three cables red black and this orange one and even if your alarm will come with that two white useless connectors which will not fit to motherboard in your scooter then no worries just cut off them because yeah we need only three cables from the alarm now the question is where to connect those three cables so black one is ground the red one is voltage from the battery and orange one is bcc this is also voltage from the battery and here is tricky part be careful don't do any kind of short circuit because here we got cables which are going straight from the battery if you will do some short circuit if you will connect something wrongly then this scooter can go boom there will be lots of fire lots of smoke lots of spark and it's quite possible that you will scream like a bitch so now we have to find connector with the same color cables on it and yeah we've got like cable jungle no surprise but in my scooter i've got key system which is working like on off as you can see i now turn it on the scooter and now i turn it off so now I have to find cable from the ski system which is going over here and actually I found it. It has also the same as you can see colors, so red, black and orange. So when I disconnect this connector, then now I should be not able to turn on the scooter. So yeah, this is right cable to connect the alarm to it. From the alarm we need red cable, black cable, orange cable and this long black one looks like antenna so also we need this one and now we can cut off the other ones here is cable with connector from my key system and i will also cut it over here because now it will be much easier to connect this alarm to the motherboard and now for safety reason i will just disconnect battery from the EC and looks like it's done so I soldered connector to the alarm looks like this also I added a fuse fuse is like must have because if this chief thing will go boom then the fuse will be blown and your scooter will be in one piece add fuse on the red cable so on the power input in my case I using three amps and I'm quite sure that this one will be good enough I also secured those three extra cables which we cut from the alarm and this long black cable is antenna is on the opposite side than the power input so don't cut this cable now let's check if it will work so let's connect this arm to old connector and now let's pray for no magic smoke so let's connect battery to first controller so far so good to the second controller small spark but we are still good and now let me cover the speaker because all those are alarms are stupid loud like over 120 decibels so to turn on the scooter we have to click two times on the thunder will it work it's working we've got red light holy moly now let's turn it off the scooter so we have to click on the open lock yeah it's working nice now let's check if the alarm will work so let's hit lock button let's cover this thing okay and now when someone touch your scooter this thing should be quite loud so we've got first two steps first one is just warning yeah now it's just warning but if someone will move again the scooter then it will be long and really super loud sound oh like this So it's working. It was quite easy to install this alarm, but you have to be careful. Check everything couple times before you disconnect or connect any cables. Also, I will add to my website instruction how to install that kind of alarm. There will be some pictures of step by step how to do it. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. I'll be back to you and try to help. And now I have to fit it somewhere because usually in the scooters is not enough space to do it but i think i found good spot it will be over here 
now we have to use some force and it's perfect i hope is it still working let's cover the speaker <laughs> it's working holy shit it's really working i found some space i moved alarm to the side wall i use this super sticky double tape and this thing will go nowhere like literally now i have to get rid of this power cable and key system and in next episode i will show you how to install amperage meter in your scooter so you will be able to see in real time how much power your scooter is using so just wait for next episodes